We made a decision and we stuck with it. And mm -hmm. I think that's all we can do. After sitting out this past fall, the North Carolina A&T Aggies, the three-time defending HBCU national champs, will not play a spring football season either. That means their days in the MEAC are officially over. Our Justin Schwer explains what's behind the decision and what players and fans have to look forward to. The athletic staff at A&T says they made the decision based off facts and information and instead of looking backward, are looking forward toward the fall. North Carolina A&T University Athletics Director Earl Hilton says while the cancellation of the spring football season was not unanticipated, he says it's still disappointing and heartbreaking. We started with a six game schedule, then went to a four game schedule, then went to this week a three game schedule. And uh, I just got to a point this week where I had to make the decision. Hilton says continuing with so many unknowns would have taken too big of a mental, physical and emotional toll on the players. So instead, the focus will turn to player development and academics. Get back into the weight room, get bigger, stronger, faster. We have a new uh, strength and conditioning coach. I think this also uh, will allow us the time to get to know him on a personal level. The cancellation of the season also comes at a time when the university is moving from the MEAC to the Big South Conference. If I'm not mistaken, you know, a t is one of the pioneers that uh, started the um, conference. And, and for us not to have that opportunity to, you know, finish, you know, what we started, um, it hurts. On top of that, A.D. Earl Hilton says the financial hit was also big. It's about a $300,000 $300, hit that we have taken this year. Um, and we have been able, again, with the help of uh, really smart people on campus, been able to figure out a way to, to absorb that uh, $300,000 hit into our budget. But as the program looks toward the summer and fall, one thing is for certain. The optimism of the athletic staff acts as a bright spot in these dark times. Yeah. Help with him. Yeah, we're no, we're we're about through. We've turned the corner. I can see some daylight. We are. It's going to be wonderful. And turning to the vaccine front, the AD says when it's their turn, he's encouraging students to get the vaccine. In Greensboro, Justin Schreier, WXII 12 News. Thanks, Justin. Governor Roy Cooper visited.